God promises in 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 31, For if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. When I think about the time that's coming, when we have to stand before Jesus Christ and give an account of our lives, I don't guess I'm worried too much. But then I read scriptures that tell us we're going to have to answer for every idle word and then I start thinking oh no and then God brings me across this scripture such as this while taking, talking about the Lord's Supper it's during this time God wants us to get right in our mind and heart with Him and with others I prayed and asked the Holy Spirit to put a guard at my mouth and let me know when I'm about to say something that I do not want to have to answer for at the judgment seat of Christ. During a normal day in my life, he's reminded me not to say negative things, repeat, and add or take away from gossip or to spread bad truth. The people really did do the bad things, but when I spread it around, it's like running over some dog droppings in the yard with the lawnmower. Hey, if I have to smell it, why not the whole neighborhood? That's just the kind of attitude you do not want to have as the judgment is getting closer and closer. And then there are the half-truths, which is nothing but a bunch of lies. And I've tried to keep that down to a bare minimum. I still have much to do before the judgment, but I'm glad the Holy Spirit remind me that He is my helper. And my helper reminds me that even though it's so much fun to judge others, I should spend what little time I do have to get the trash out of my own backyard without worrying about the trash in somebody else's backyard. I have enough to worry about without worrying about somebody else. For if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged, and that is God's promise.